Um, uh, I'm here to actually introduce my professor. Um, I think people often say that uh, the sound of the parent is 30 years later will reach you. But I think I'm very lucky that the sound of the professor reached me when I was in the university 25 years ago when I went to Japan. So I have talked with Dr. Tiragia saying that if you went to one of the school and get an education and you, you don't have any of the teacher in your heart, I mean that you haven't get any good education yet. I'm very lucky that I have uh, very fortunate when I was in Japan to have uh, Takeuchi Sensei as one of my beloved uh, teacher that have a very special place in my heart and that was inspired me to, to be different and uh, take a leadership to do something very differently. Four years ago, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Takeuchi Sensei actually pay all the, the expenses and invited us to, to his house in Maui, in Hawaii. And uh, he asked us what, what my plan to, to do in the next uh, five to 10 years. I told him that I want to execute my dream to make a school, that doing something like what we have in Hawaii, that the supervisor, uh, teachers have a very special relationship with the student. And I told, when I came back here, I told Dr. Tiragiat saying that I will not invite my professor unless we, we actually be able to spread the goodness and being accepted uh, in a Thai society. So I told Dr. Tiragiat that at least we must have 1,000 students in two years, then we will invite my professor because he, it would be a very great honor for me to invite him. And uh, I, I, I was very in depth with what he have done to us and I didn't know how to, to pay it back to him. He only, only told us that you need to pay it forward to other students. And I hope that uh, one day, all the students will look back at Newton and feel that we are the institute that actually foster the leader and a good relationship between teacher and the, the student. So in this event, I would like to invite uh, my professor, uh, Ajahn Takeuchi. Hirotaka. Thank you, uh, CEO Tanin, for those gracious words, Your Excellencies, um, invited guests and students, um, I want you to know why I am here, having traveled all the way from Boston and from Tokyo. The first reason, of course, is to celebrate Dr. T's 60th birthday. So congratulations, that's great. In Japan, we celebrate the 60th birthday wearing a bright red kimono and a bright red hat. Uh, so I did that 16 years ago, and I will send you the black uniform I wore. So I want you to take a picture of you in red and send it back to me. So congratulations. Second reason. I'm here um, is because of CEO Tanin. Uh, so thank you for your gracious words. But he is trying to remake uh, the school here uh, in Thailand. And it is a very noble mission. So I'm very proud that you are doing this. I think you are my best student. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Yeah. So I have 253 seminar students that I work with over the years, um, and they're spread all over. Uh, but for me to be invited here um, in Bangkok, 
with him being the CEO, um, it's very special uh, to me. So congratulations on the opening of the Newton School. So Newton School, business school students, where are you? Raise your hands. Congratulations. You know, this, we are making history. So remember November 3rd, right? It's Dr. T's birthday and also your birthday, uh, which is, I think, very, very important. So I would like to leave three messages with you. So when CEO Tanning was senior in college at Hitotsubashi University in Japan, I would have interviews with him on his career. And I would ask three questions. What is your MVV? which translates to mission, vision, and values. So I'd like all the students here, right, uh, to think of your MVV, mission, vision, and values. So I would interview um, CEO Tanin and say the first question is mission or purpose. Why were you born? Why are you on this planet? What is your mission? What is your purpose? And I remember you writing a one page uh, on this is why I exist. Now, the mission question applies both to the individual as well as to an institution. So, Newton School has a mission, a purpose. I teach at the Harvard Business School, and our mission is to educate leaders who make a difference in the world. That's our mission. Why was Harvard Business School created 140 years ago? to educate leaders who make a difference in the world. So I would like to ask all the international, uh, international school students here, start thinking about why was I born? What's the purpose I'm supposed to have? Hopefully, by the senior year in college, like Tanin, you would have a very clear-cut purpose or mission. You may not have it now, that's okay. But start thinking about that. The second question is vision. What kind of a future do I want to create? That's the question. What kind of a future does Newton School want to create? It's very clear, right? global talent. But for you, the future you want to create, probably very different, right? And so don't think about what do I want to become 20 years from now. Don't think about that, but think of what kind of a future do I want to create? So Elon Musk, when he was going through high school in South Africa, had a very clear-cut future in mind, which is a sustainable society. So that was the future he wanted to create. So it could be technology, it could be social sciences, it could be in the government, whatever it is, but think of what kind of a future I want to create. And I think it was uh, how many years ago in Maui? Uh, four years in Mau uh, ago in Maui, he had a very clear-cut vision of what Newton School is going to be and what his future is going to be. So for you, my message is start thinking about it. Not about, you know, what do I want to become, but what kind of a future 
do I want to create? And the last one is values. So what are some beliefs, some principles that you believe in, right? Something you hold dear. And for me, some of the key values that I hold dear is, I call it RNA. I talked a little bit about that at the Newton uh, Business School this uh, morning. RNA. Rule breaking is the R. I'm a big believer on breaking the rules. I'm very sorry. <laughs> but I think um, Newton School uh, is trying to remake right, school. It's a very similar idea. The N stands for nonconformist. So I've always valued being a nonconformist. So when I started teaching at the university in Japan, they gave me a nickname because I was so different from the other guys. They called me E.T., which was a very popular movie at that time. So, you know, I'm a nonconformist, and the A stands for antithesis. So in uh, you know, at the Harvard Business School, we use cases to teach uh, about management, to t teach about leadership. So there's antithesis, which is the opposite of thesis. So somebody can voice a thesis, right? But someone should oppose the person talking about the thesis and talk about antithesis, antithesis, and we pronounce it antithesis. So for me, I like the word cop, contradictions, opposites, paradox. So whenever somebody is saying something proper, which is a thesis, I always say, let me disagree. Let me disagree, and I would say something opposite. So it's good to agree to disagree. So make that part of your habit if that is going to be a very important value for you. For me, RNA are three values that I, I hold dear. So I would recommend that you start thinking about what are the important values that I want to hold dear for a long, very long period of time. So CEO Tanning and I spent a couple of days talking about NVV. Remember that? Right? Uh, what's great is that his vision has come true. His dream has come true. Um, and you should be very proud of that. Yeah. So what I'd like to uh, uh, end with is asking you, the youth, right, to start thinking of mission, vision, values, and hopefully 30 some years later, it, the dream would come true, just like the dream coming true for CEO Thani. So congratulations, and I hope, you know, this will be a good start for you. November 3rd, 2022, you're making history. Thank you very much.